Icebox Radio Theater is on the air in International Falls, Minnesota. We have a great show for you folks tonight. Hi, I'm Jeffrey Adams, and I'm Artistic Director of the Icebox Radio Theater of International Falls, Minnesota. Well, don't get too close to that couple in front of us. I don't think they're paying attention. That's a couple? I thought it was one kind of lumpy guy. Well, I think it plays very well here because he writes things that are so familiar to everybody. What are you talking about, Velma? The girl, the girl right there. Where? There, the practically naked one walking by the car. Oh, don't look. Oh, her! We have an amazing group of people. First of all, oh, yeah, yes, the talent in a town this size is simply astounding. And what we're doing here today by presenting our show live is we get people a chance to enjoy a little bit of what it was like to put on one of these shows back in the day when this was the major broadcast art form. You don't have to be self-conscious about what you're presenting facially. Um, and I think that sort of enriches your vocal talent a little. I don't want to talk about it. You can really focus on the lines and on the humor or the, you know, the drama of it without thinking, okay, this is where I step stage left and sit down, you know, or something. <laughs> Our musical director is Myron Howerlet. Myron is a genius. He just manages to bring out the moment in incredible ways with the keyboard. Come on, it's our invitation. Beware, boys and girls are playing sweet jazz tunes by the light of the moon. This one we've been working on probably a good week. Imagine you're in line at customs to get back into the United States on a warm summer Sunday afternoon. If you've ever experienced that, you know this. we're talking three and four hours is not unusual. We're not going at all. We haven't moved an inch in 10 minutes. There, we moved a foot. What happens is we have three couples in line. Come on, honk him again. Should I? Do it! And of course, you don't, you know, you don't know each other. What's that, dear? Fella behind us keeps honking. Oh, let him honk. None of us going anywhere. Well, move a little. He seems upset. What they discover as they go through the story is that they're all interconnected in some way. He used to coach basketball at school. That's the man who cut me my sophomore year. Our story gets moving when Brittany gets mad at her newlywed husband. What? I hate you, Justin Sawchuck. Come on, Britt. This is our honeymoon. Oh, it's ours? I thought it was yours. Yours and a little chippy in the micro top. Brittany! I'm going for a walk. Unbeknownst to her, Velma, who's in front of them, spots her. Einer, that woman called me fairy boat feet. I don't want to see her. Eventually, Justin has had enough. He gets out of the car, abandoning their car momentarily to try and get his newlywed wife back in. Behind them, Star re recognizes Justin. That's your son up ahead? Yes. You told me they lived in Winnipeg. They did live in Winnipeg. I think I'll stop right there because it just gets more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it's something that would never happen, but it'd sure be fun if it did. I think the real strength of the internet this, this wonderful global distribution system that's all been kind of dropped in our lap is that places like this can now tell their stories. This is Jeffrey Adams reminding you to keep listening. Good night. Funding for the playlist is provided by the citizens of Minnesota through the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and by viewers like you.